Prince Harry, 38, and Meghan Markle, 41, made global headlines following the release of their explosive Netflix docuseries, to the Duke of Sussex's jaw-dropping memoir, Spare. The Sussexes opened up about a lack of support from the palace in dealing with the British press attacks on Meghan, in the final three episodes of their Netflix series. The couple also discussed their childhood, the treatment of women in the royal family and press intrusion. Ryan Mark Parsons, who likened the Duke of Sussex to his great-aunt Princess Margaret, said Harry was considered the fun royal prior to his explosive family admissions. The Apprentice star's perception of the Duke has changed since he stepped down from the royal family in 2020. I was reading something and Harry always ranked highly in terms of popularity, Ryan Mark commented. Before all this, he was the most popular in the royal family. I think, Harry, was second to the Queen, he continued. Ryan Mark went on, he was getting popped in Vegas and being splashed. He was a fun royal, going to nightclubs and getting popped outside. Going off with girls. I kind of like that side of Harry. He was a bit like Princess Margaret. He was so laissez-faire and hedonistic. Don't miss. Sarah Beanie receives all clear from breast cancer after Weird Ride, latest, Sam Smith show blasted as satanic and sexual as star strips to thong, concert, GMB's Charlotte Hawkins looks blooming beautiful in florals at Aintree, pictures, the GB News commentator said Harry was the complete opposite of his brother William, who had to maintain a more composed public image. Then you have William who is the heir and successor to the throne, so he had the responsibility to be more mature in public," Ryan Mark remarked. Now, Harry's, become commercialized, so focused on amassing huge amounts of wealth. The TV commentator added, has becoming the biggest star on the planet by doing all of this PR stuff. I think it's a real shame and has lost his joie de vivre. Harry will join the family for the coronation next month, which is expected to be a very short trip. He will likely only attend the actual ceremony at Westminster Abbey and no other celebratory events. The King and Queen Camilla's balcony appearance is understood to have been finalized to a final group of 15 working royals, which doesn't include Harry. The group to join the newly crowned King and Queen will represent the heartbeat and future of the family, according to reports. It is set to include the Prince and Princess of Wales, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh.